Disney's Grand Floridian Vill Resort, and, Resort spa. and Spa, and we are here to eat at Citrico's for the first time for both of us. Yes, right? one of the few places it, I have not eaten at yeah. Disney World. And it has recently been reimagined, rethemed uh -huh. to feature Mary Poppins Returns. Yep. Kind of odd choice, yeah. but uh, we're going to go with it and hope it's amazing. Yeah. Um, I'm going to talk more about a hypothesis I have. Hypothesis? Um, in our debrief. Okay. Sadly, I have never seen, or well, we both have not seen Mary Poppins Returns. We have not. I have never seen Mary Poppins. It's true. It's true. I know I what I know. Him. It's true. I think he thinks he hasn't seen it, but he has the, seen it. No. The most I know about Mary oh Poppins gosh. comes from the late, great, great movie ride. Um, Chim Chimney. So we're going to go in here and check this out. Um, we can check in in about, what, five, ten minutes or something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. um, it's a short little intro, but yeah, we are eating at Citrico's. Yeah. First time for both of us, and we are extremely excited, extremely hungry, and uh, gonna go in and see what we see. Yeah, and new menu. So. New menu, and again, it's neither of us has eaten here before, so uh, you'll be experiencing it with us for the uh, first time. Yeah, we're so, excited. Yeah, looking forward to it. So, in we go to check in. She's been outstanding yep. so far. Really yeah. great. So we're just kind of taking a look at the options. I think we're going to get some drinks because we have to. A little um, loud. It's a little loud. It's a little in loud here. in here. Um, but otherwise, great seats, yeah. good view. And yeah, we're going to get some bread, take a look at the menu, get those yeah. drinks. And, and the decor is great. I mean, hold up really the uh, water glass. Oh, yeah, I love that. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, it's super charming. I really like the bright colors it gives kind of a different vibe of yeah. Copolinos, but still that brightness, so I do like that a lot, yeah. and I love the bar. All right, so we uh, just ordered our entire meal, as well as our... Uh, Drinks. Drinks and everything, which we'll go over when we get them, but Robin has been amazing. She did ask if we wish to speak to a chef, and we actually said, no, we're okay with Robin tonight. She seems extremely well-versed in food allergies, but as we've said in many videos, if you ever do want to talk to a chef, always say it. Um, Disney's really good at always offering to bring one out, and I'd say we do about 70% of the time, but, uh, but yeah, they offered a chef. We were dealing with just Robin tonight, and she seems outstanding, and uh, yeah, so far, so good. So 
So bread services come from me. Sarah's are getting warmed up right now. Who's eating free bread? Um, I'm gonna start with a taste of the, uh, what is this? I think it's a Kalamata olive bread. Okay. And I already put some uh, butter on it. The uh, sea salt butter, I believe, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, with the cutest, tiniest, yeah. while Brandon takes a bite, the cutest, tiniest little butter plate. Bread is warm, the butter is delicious. Oh. Uh oh. Hashtag butter brigade. Oh no. <laughs> Everyone, join the butter brigade if you want. Um, okay, he's happy. Yeah. Wow, best butter in the world, maybe. Oh no, wow, we got some good butter on property too. Mm. And there's, mm. he's got, I think it's like a sourdough in there. And then Yeah, the I'll try that in a minute. All right, we are going to try now the, uh, what is this? I think it's sourdough. Sourdough bread. I already put butter on it, okay. butter brigade. Yeah, and Brandon is already like, this is the best butter ever. Oh. It is, it looks like a good butter. Oh, so I guess good. I'll, I'll I'll be See, honest, I think. this is delicious. I think I prefer this. Oh, the olive bread? Yeah. Okay. Well, you got Absolutely plenty of it. All that butter, everyone, that butter, that butter. We're going to let Brandon keep digging in. Sarah should be here soon. I want her honest with you with the butter, too. So. I'm excited, butter is delicious. All right, okay, Sarah's so. bread is calm. Butter Brigade time. So I have the regular Bloomfield Farms rolls. They seem well heated, so that's great. And then of course, I have regular butter. You I, can get dairy-free options. Yes. Yeah. I'm excited. I want to know. It's good. Oh no. Ooh. Sarah will not be a member of the Butter Brigade, no. it seems. No, I do like it. <laughs> okay, good. Just, no, no, I like it. I'm trying to figure out what salt they use. It tastes it's really, really good. Really good. The salt's real, I think it's almost a combination of like pink sea salt and a few other, like maybe some potions. Yeah, it's really, it's really good. good. Hashtag Butter Brigade. All right, so we're going to enjoy our bread before our uh, yeah, no. appetizers get if here. Or, dairy, it's a nice high quality yeah. butter. The salt is really nice. It is it. really good. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it's good. All right, cool. I'm holding my phone for a reason, everyone. We got our uh, drinks. I got the, uh, I'm reading off my phone. Got the 1806 Old Fashioned, which consists of Whistle Pig, Chef Made Orange Reduction, Del Maguay Vita Mezcal. Maguay? Where? Gremlins? What's happening? Maguay? <laughs> Maguay. Oh no. Don't feed them after midnight. No. Don't get them wet and definitely don't show them the sunlight. Is it, I don't, I'm probably mispronouncing it. It's M A G U E Y Maguay. I don't know. I don't know, but it sounds delicious. Look, that was sip of it. And you can see the awesome square ice cube in there. Very cool. Ooh. Ooh. Is there whiskey in that? There's a little burn. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Ooh, that is really good. It's very fruity too. Citrusy, I guess? Yeah, I think the whole restaurant has a lot of citrus. Hence the word the citric citric oh. <laughs> Consider the Consider citrus. Consider the citrus. Oh, no. Okay. Um, very good. It's acidic, but not overpowering acidic and everything like that. So very good. I got uh, essentially it's a grapefruit spritz and instead of Aperol which is a very common spritz drink um, it's another kind of bitter so I'm Looks very amazing. curious yeah it's got some like That's, candied orange on okay. everything again more citrus it's not bread looks like no it looks like candied orange and maybe some grapefruit so yeah I'm excited about this Ooh. It looks good. It so looks really good. If you like sweet drinks, do not order this because it's extremely dry and bitter. I love like Aperol spritzes. I love a dry um, taste. You can tell they've got a house-made seltzer, which I love. Very citrus forward. Um, taste the grapefruit in there. But yeah, it's a great refreshing kind of summery drink. All right, so we're both enjoying our, our drinks. Awesome. All right, our appetizers came. I don't know what Sarah. What is this? I've already. I have not taken a bite. So you yet. have a pork belly with a, like a croquette. Uh, so that's like Wait, a, a plantain. Did you say a croquette? Yeah, like in Mary Poppins. No. Oh. 
Oh, right. Well, Sarah went to Mary Poppins' her house. I went to uh, the Fifth Element with Ruby Rod, Gemini Croquet Contest, Gemini. Oh my gosh, Ruby Rod, anyway, still alive. Ruby Rod, still alive, coming at you. Still alive, coming at you. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm going to have a bite of this pork and it sliced through like butter. Oh, Absolutely wow. yeah, like butter. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Yeah, the presentation's uh, great. The presentation is great, so let's try this. Yeah, and we were both saying that we felt like we were Disney Crow. Oh my gosh, I missed his reaction. He was like, his eyes. Is this the best pork ever? Even better than the bacon and eggs? Oh gosh, yeah. He's like, yes, yes it is. I don't, let me have one more bite, everyone. Can you also try the croquette? Okay. Okay. Oh, oh I dropped a little piece of croquette. Oh. Not, not life changing, but really good. What, okay. what is a croquette? I don't know well, what Well, I think is. that's got plantains and I don't remember what else, and I'd have to look at the menu, but yeah, I think there's. You everyone, this pork, flavors. this pork, everyone. Oh gosh, he's going, he's losing his time. It's better than the bacon and eggs at the wave. Oh boy. Now, I I'm think so the, sad I can hear I think the bacon and eggs are probably a better little meal overall yeah. for an appetizer, but this pork is out of this world. I don't, Sarah's better at describing food as everyone knows, but I want to shed a tear right now. Shed a tear with me, everyone. It's really good. It's really good. So I got the uh, sweet corn bisque, which has some popcorn. It actually has fennel in there. And it was great because they did a nice presentation. So they had sort of the uh, components that are not pureed in there, and then they put the soup on top of it. And I'm excited. This is gluten free. Not dairy free, but Brandon can actually have this, so we're gonna let him try a bite of it too. Mm. Good, it looks good. Ooh. Um, you have to take a bite of the popcorn. Okay. It's so interesting. Yeah, it's great, <laughs> it's sweet. Um, if you like corn and you like soup, nice little option. Yeah, you gotta try it. Okay, I mean, awesome. Yeah, the flavors are bright, summery, not citrusy, but definitely bright, summery, but the popcorn is so fun in there. Okay, awesome. So yeah, I, I get to try it. one bite. I need Brandon's reaction. You get a little, little spice on the back. Okay. Too. A little yeah. spice on the back end. Okay, I should have dumped a little bit more into yeah, video, my soup. Yeah, video section two. Yeah, so I got more of the fennel in here. The flavors with the fennel are so good. Yeah. Super bright. I was like, oh, just add some texture. Sarah add started freaking things. out over it. I was like, it. oh, I should have mixed it all up. But, yeah, super good. So, and Brandon also took a bite of this with a clean spoon. Yeah, I used a clean spoon um, where you don't want to cross contaminate anything. And you liked it too. I liked it a lot. It's a like, really oh, good soup. I would, I would order that. Yeah, I would order that. Although, I'm going to order this next time. But this is great. I almost got the hamachi appetizer, but I didn't because I'm getting fish for my entree. Yes. But this is a really great. Awesome. Awesome. All right, everyone, so I've gotten a second drink, round two, fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, this is the, uh, what is this one? Should I look it up again? It's a Manhattan. It's a Manhattan. And, but it's got your Angels it and has the Bourbon. Angels and the bur Bourbon. So if you go back and watch our Wave, our most recent Wave video, which Sarah will make too, I bring that up in there. Yeah. Sarah is going to have all of these, of course. Yeah, I love the cherries. So I'm going to cherries these. are the best. You can just hold them there for now. I'm going to hold them here. Yeah. And we'll take a sip. Of the old fashioned, which is what we always, what I always get on the uh, Disney Cruise Line. Yes, the Stiletto Manhattan, the Stiletto Skyline, Manhattan Lounge. Lounge. Skyline Lounge, the best Disney Cruise Line. Con. We miss you. This is to you, Disney Cruise Line. Is it good? It's really good. tastes like home. Home is a Disney Cruise Line, a Skyline Lounge. Entrees just came, and I got the uh, filet mignon, cooked medium, and it looks like it was cooked medium. So plating is amazing. As you can see, Sarah will input other video of this, but let's have a bite, put some little sauce on it. It is so good. Is it as good as Topolino? After one bite, listen. No. no. Um, second best on property, maybe. I, 
Let's dig into it a little more. Can you try the potatoes? Absolutely delicious. Try the potatoes. And I like also that Brandon was oh. able to get the sauce because sometimes that isn't an option because of the chicken. So they're they're making some real but, stock there. Yeah, potatoes are delicious. And we know Brandon's not gonna eat sparkling, but maybe he will, you never know. Nope. No. Okay, everyone, did you, you want to try me? You want to see me try the broccoli? Right in the middle? No. 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 Um, delicious filet, delicious mashed potatoes, huge winner. We're going to be back. We're going to be back. So I got the tile fish. Um, which I've had before at other restaurants. It comes with a risotto with shrimp in it and some little, like a broth here. It looks like some nice vegetables. The fish just like literally kind of fell apart as I went to move it. So definitely high quality. Oh. Oh, look at that. Okay. Look at that. Perfectly cooked, the flavor on is great. Let's try the risotto real quick. Risotto's great, super flavorful. The fish is, first bite, I'm like, look, it's falling apart. Yeah, this is a winner. is probably one of the fanciest gluten free desserts I've had in a long time. This does have dairy in it, um, but I couldn't turn down this chocolate tort. We are going to cut it down the middle because they she said, our server said to do that and I could see all the layers. So I feel kind of sad destroying this art and this beautiful plating. Yes, you can. But look, you can see there's a cherry layer, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Um, and unfortunately, Brandon cannot have this because of his nut allergies. So. Yeah, I was denied. Was Understandably. Like, I was like, it's weird that I think I get a better dessert than Brandon. Yes, Sarah's getting a better dessert than me tonight, I think. So I'm going to take it and just, like I said, this looks just like chocolate, Morello cherries, just chunk of chocolate chocolate. Oh, wow. Okay. So much chocolate. Super rich. The flavors are just, it's a really high quality chocolate. Just exquisite. I love the cherry in it. Chocolate shavings are nice in here. Great presentation. I'm gonna be flying high on chocolate. Okay. This, this is just chocolate explosion. Wow. But yeah, super good. If you like chocolate and you're gluten free, I think this is a fantastic gluten free option. Right, awesome. So you're gonna dig in. I'm so excited. It's like a dessert. So my dessert came as well. I don't know what I got. Sarah, what did I get? You got the um, orange flan. Orange flan. Which can I don't be know made what that is. free, but without the, um, I can't try it because it has a shortbread in there. Right here? Yeah, that's okay. got the gluten in it, but they can make this gluten oh, free. Oh. It's kind of like a creme brulee. And they said they have local honey in there with yes. the fruit. And they um, brulee the top. And Brandon, okay, of course, everyone, just had I don't know how to even eat this. Go for it. Just shove it all in here. You got it. And again, very similar. Of course, if you like flan or creme brulee, probably a good option. This is the only nut-free option. I have. I was talking to our server, and we just kept digging in and digging in. It's really pretty good. I don't want to sit. Listen. It's no chocolate. Sarah's is clearly better. Okay, it's clearly better. But given this, I think, is the only thing I'm allowed to eat here at this restaurant for dessert, it's solid. It's good. It's yeah. Yeah, if you like creme brulee, probably a good option. No, I've never heard of. Let me rephrase that. You've heard of flan. I have heard of flan. The best TV show of all time, Babylon Five. Ambassador Delin often talks about flan. So, anyway. And now you've had flan. Now I've had flan. So really good, not great, but really good, and I'm gonna eat it. All right, so we're done. <laughs> we're waiting on the check. And uh, how full are you, Sarah? I was doing very well yep. with the entree and, and the appetizer and the bread. The dessert pushed it over the edge. Yeah. But totally worth it. I'm yeah. so glad we got yeah. to try she already cleared, Robin already cleared our table, but we ate everything. So and 
We'll talk more later, but the food has been delicious. Food service has been outstanding. Phenomenal. Phenomenal service. So, um, yeah, we're just waiting on the check. And we're going to get out of here and go for a walk and do a hashtag debrief. So very quick on the way out, we stopped by the special Le Cellier. It's going to be the Sommelier. Sommelier. Le Cellier steak. and special menus. Special menus. And it'll be, uh, I think, one table a night or something like that yeah, whenever so they open it. Yeah. Amazing. Absolutely. But they've got some great Mary Poppins stuff in here. They've got our uh, basket. Which we'll book footage of. And then stuff like Cherry Tree Lane. Very cool. Yeah, this is. Yeah, a little subtle Mary Poppins. Leave a comment. Would you like Sarah and I to come eat in here on a special night? Oh boy, better start saving those dollars We're going to start saving those dollars now, those dollars now <laughs> because yes, we are. Um, this is awesome. I couldn't imagine yeah. having this room to ourselves during service, which uh, our server said maybe approximately a month from now they're going to open up. Yeah, it sounds really cool. So very cool. But yeah, we just want to step in here really quick. We are allowed to be in here. Yep. Chim chimpany, chim chim. <laughs> But, uh, all right, we're going to go for a walk and go debrief. But we had to step in here really quick and show it to everybody. Yeah. Very cool. Very good. Okay, so <laughs> we have a gorgeous view for it our debrief. It's so gorgeous out. Nice out. Yeah, it started out really hot, but right now it is absolutely perfect. Yeah, it's a beautiful night. So, where do we begin? So, I guess we begin at the beginning. Yes. Um, well, I guess maybe kind of the, recap like Citricos yeah. um, is in the Grand Floridian. It is, I would say, more on the higher end of restaurants so yeah kind of i yeah. feel like it's even in some ways more fancy than california grill i don't know i think it is a little bit more fancy than california grill however in saying that in our experience on disney property any place with a dress code oh yeah don't it's <laughs> loosely we try to always follow it i think we have always followed it yeah but they are maybe they should maybe they shouldn't that's your mileage may vary but if you show up in a, a tank top, or, tank top like or shorts, your dress code or not, they're going to let you in. Right. The only exception that we have never been to might be Victoria and Albert's, which right. is the one of one of only two five diamond places in Florida. Um, but yeah, yeah and it so, used to only be one. Yeah, it used to only be one, now but then they uh, added Salt somewhere, a place called Salt. Oh, anyway, Amelia Island. Amelia yeah, Island. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, but anyway. Citrico's has a dress code. Uh, it's more business casual, so yeah. again, you're you know a little bit fancier, but your mileage mm -hmm. may vary. Yeah. Um, I think the difference between Citrico's and maybe California Grill is the service is a bit more refined, at least based on our, our experience service, tonight. Let's just bring her up. Robin was amazing. Phenomenal. Ro if anyone knows Robin at Citrico's, or if She's you're watching awesome. this, she was on top of everything, from water refills yeah. to allergies, everything. She was amazing. Yeah, and even like, so we... We do like fine dining, although we don't do it all the time. We do like fancier prints. Like, no, we do like. No, we love fine dining. We just don't do it yeah, all the time. It's pricey. So yeah, we that's do <laughs> love like, like on the Disney Cruise Line, Remy. I feel yeah. like there were some things that were very similar here in that like we ordered non-alcoholic drinks along with alcoholic drinks. And she didn't actually bring those drinks out until we had finished our alcoholic After, drinks. Yeah. So just sort of like a little refined touches yeah. like that was pretty nice. Yeah, so in terms of what we ordered, so service again, great, phenomenal. Outstanding. Really excellent. Um, some of the best we think we've had on Disney property. Yeah, this this service tonight was near the top. Yeah, it was In the top so three, good. at least. Yeah, it was really so. awesome. Um, but the food and the drink was great. So I would say if you do like alcoholic beverages, or even if you don't, yep. they do have some fun non-alcoholic stuff. Um, but great alcoholic beverages, mm -hmm. just interesting stuff, not the standard Disney bar menu, which yeah. I like. I like things that are different and that are tailored to the restaurant you're at. Yeah. So that was really great. Really, really delicious. I'd like to talk about the theming. Oh yeah, we're skipping back. So we're doubling back. Yeah, we're, we're going, yeah. we're gonna go back to the theming. Theming, theming. Uh, 
let's go with my hypothesis that I brought up at the beginning. I've never seen even the original Mary Poppins, let alone Mary Poppins Returns. And this is based off Mary Poppins Returns from what we've been told. Yes. I do want to see them. Um, Leave a comment if you think what I'm about to say might be true. I don't think this approaches the realm of no. theory yet. This is strictly a hypothesis. I believe there's a large number of Disney fans, like myself actually, and like probably millions of people, that might think they've seen some of these really classic Disney films when they were younger <laughs> or something, but because you've seen so many clips of them or been to the parks so many times, you think you've seen the movies. I could tell you all about Mary Poppins. Sarah and I have talked about it. I think you've still seen it. If I have, I was a tiny little, <laughs> tiny little boy. Um, I have not seen it enough to form any memories of it, but in my mind, I know the full story. I know the actors, I know every scene, but I don't, as an adult, I'm pretty sure I've never seen it. Um, I wanna watch it now. Okay. But anyway, does anyone agree? Does anyone think there's probably millions of Disney fans out there <laughs> that maybe think they've seen all the animated films like Dumbo or Pinocchio, but you really haven't? Oh boy. It's, I'm working on it in my head. I'm going to write a paper on it one day. Oh boy. Um, so get, if you came here for a food <laughs> review, you also now so, have... Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> anyway I'm, I'm working on a paper for my uh, for my doctoral thesis. Oh boy. So um, we'll, we'll see what future professors have to say about that. Anyway, back to the... Theming yes. was great. The theming, theming was great. Yeah, yeah, I actually liked it a lot. I think... One of the challenges when you refurb a restaurant that's been here a long time is you don't have the flexibility of space. Like um, Topolino's Terrace, which is, I think, still our favorite restaurant on Disney property, has yeah. really oh, yeah. good spacing. It just feels very open, very wide. It was, I think they did a really nice job with the refurb mm -hmm. here, but it, yeah. it still feels a little, a little, a little tight. A little, a little tight. Um, I know we were, I'm just going to say it, we were talking about this during the height of the pandemic. We are not referring to that at all right now. If you're gonna pay this much oh, for this yeah. much of fine dining, um, we brought it up at the, uh, the uh, what was the video we just did on um, Chef de France? Oh, Chef yeah. de France. Um, for for kind of what you're paying and stuff, you don't wanna be sitting on top of people. Yeah. Um, overall, they did great here, like Sarah said, but there were a few tables that were very, there were some tables that were definitely tight, um, especially two tops, which, yeah. of course, if you're a couple, you don't want to sit and enjoy a meal with someone else. Yeah, no, um, two feet from you. Yeah, so, but they did a good job yeah. for the spacing and the timing of the restaurant so that everyone felt like they had mm -hmm. a pretty good amount of space between each other. Yeah. So they were really spacing out tables good job, yeah. until, I think, as we started to leave, it was definitely getting busier. So mm -hmm. just something to keep in mind if that's something that is important to you, maybe go to an earlier seating because we liked that we just didn't have a ton of people around. It just made us yeah. feel more private. And like we were having a yeah. nice new experience. Yeah, um, it was great. Started out great, ended great. But like Sarah said, near the end, when it started getting more crowded, people were getting more and more on top of other people. Yeah, so, something to think about. Something to think about. Again, if that doesn't bother you at all, then awesome. But uh, yeah, some of the tables were like two feet from each yeah. other, three feet, something like that. But overall, really good. Mm -hmm. um, theming was great. Um, again, not being a huge Mary Poppins fan, except for the great movie ride, R.I.P. Um, I, uh, it was very minor detail, it's right? It's subtle. Everything very in there is subtle. very subtle. Yeah. And now with the amazing, exquisite, delicious food. Oh my gosh, so good. So first of all, I'm going to be honest, I had moderate expectations. I had above, meal. I had above average expectations coming in and Sarah's right. She had at best average. Yeah. Right? So I was very, very impressed. Um, first of all, they very allergy friendly. Um, all very of our special friendly. diets, super on top of it. We could speak to a chef at any time. Our server was very on top of it. But there were a lot of choices and I think a lot of option for customization. And anytime you're at some place that's maybe a bit more high-end, I always feel like they're pretty good about yeah. some customizations and options. But um, our appetizers were very good. Listen, everyone, oh, listen, <laughs> listen. My appetizer was in, again, we don't have a list of top five, top 10. It's in the top three appetizers. I don't know what number one and two are, if this is one or two or three, I don't know. Absolutely delicious. You said it was the best pork you've ever it had. It was the best pork I've ever had. People might not believe me, but they might go, Brandon, was it really the best pork you've ever had? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you believe me? Of course it was. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was delicious. And Sarah? Yeah, I love the soup. I thought it was mm -hmm. super fresh, great seasonal flavors, good for the summer. And yeah, something I would get again, some unique flavors. I like the popcorn in it, it was just fun texture. Um, yeah, I would definitely get that again. I would, I think next time get some of the other options. Okay. I almost got the hamachi, um, which our server said was a really excellent option for 
um, appetizers, but I ended up getting fish for my entree, so I was kind of figuring try something a little bit different there, but good. So moving on to the entrees. Onward to entrees. Okay, I was super impressed by the tile fish that I had. I want to try the cobia next time, which is another fish there um, that our server also said was very good and is gluten free. And if I can speak for Sarah for a second, I'm asking permission. You can. Um, <laughs> she could not stop talking about oh, the fish. Oh, it was so good. She said Perfect it was absolutely fun. delicious. I can't have fish at all. Like I have to be away from it. But um, the plating was amazing. I mm -hmm. used to eat fish, of course, before disaster struck. But um, <laughs> it looked amazing and I could taste it by just looking at it. Yeah, it was beautiful. This fish was perfectly seasoned. I love the seasoning on it. Some nice bright flavors. The risotto was great. So yeah, I would definitely get yeah. that again. And not super heavy, which yeah. is helpful when you're eating a lot of courses. Yeah. And uh, my filet was amazing. Um, Sarah's first question, and rightfully so, by the way, was is it better than Topolino's Terrace? The answer is no. Well, let's just get that out of the way. I honestly don't know how long it's going to take Disney World to beat Topolino's ever for their filet. And why would they? Filet, it might be the best there. Oh, that filet is yeah, so good. Yeah, it's so good. But this is not a Topolino's review. We have a couple of those videos. But um, this filet was second or third best. We, she was asking me, like, where does it rank? And I'd have to really think. But all I know is it was absolutely delicious. She'll tell you I ate every single bite. There yeah. was not one ounce of fat on it. Nothing. It was cooked perfectly delicious and i would highly highly recommend it yeah highly yeah our so. desserts were fabulous desserts were fine, i yeah. was super impressed i got the topolinos and here had excellent gluten-free desserts mm -hmm. not dairy-free i was a little bummed i was hoping the uh dairy-free vegan dessert was going to also be gluten-free and it was not no. but um the other dessert that brandon got was the flan and that could be made gluten-free by just omitting the cookie base so there were a couple good gluten-free options there so i give them high praise and credit for making some yeah, decent gluten-free options that felt nice and fancy and like a real dessert awesome and i've never had flan but uh, it was good. I ate every bite, but one or something. Yeah, I was just I was just too full at that point. But uh, really solid. If you want dessert, yeah. If we come here again, well, when we come here again, we're coming here again. But when we come here again, I'll be honest. I probably it was really good, not delicious enough to get it again. If that makes yeah, any sense. Yeah, I don't sense. know if we Does get dessert sense? every yeah. single time. I think I'd every just be so, happy every so with often. like an appetizer and an entree and a drink, or maybe just an entree and a drink. I agree. Yeah, I agree. So solid dessert though. If you do want a dessert, there are options. Yeah. yeah. Very solid options. Um, other than that, I... Yeah, I think in terms of restaurants and recommendations, Topolino's is still our favorite uh -huh. restaurant on Disney property as of right now. That of course can always change mm -hmm. um, just for the price point and for the what you get, the service, the quality of the food. But I think Citrico is really ranked high. I wish... Like it's, yeah. it's kind of I, just below right yeah, now I, for I, Topolino's. Yeah, I don't we both thought coming in it would be probably above average and that yeah. was about that this is right below topolino's if not just two below i don't know what yeah. would be number two i think but, we need to go yeah. back here again yeah. just a couple more times or at least one more time just to sort of see the different food to see yeah. what we think but it definitely ranked very high in yeah. terms of service service phenomenal and everything just a great experience yeah overall. shout out to the chefs that were there tonight the cooks the chefs shout out to robin our server mm -hmm. i didn't get his name but the manager came by oh yeah he was really nice it, too it was keith maybe i don't remember i forget it, it yeah i mean i was about to say his name doesn't matter his name clearly matters but um he was great everyone was super nice yeah so no issue at all i think we had an excellent experience yep. if you are coming to disney and you're looking for maybe a finer dining experience right now i think citricos would be a great option yeah thank you to all the patrons on patreon everyone's awesome thank you to everyone that subscribes mm -hmm. hits the thumbs up hits the little bell leave a comment um yeah let us know what you think yeah. of what we reviewed tonight um what you think of the restaurant how it looks especially if you've eaten there before yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we'd love to hear your thoughts on that yeah because we had not eaten there before this refer oh. um have you actually seen mary poppins and or mary poppins returns <laughs> um my guess is yes most people have seen mary poppins probably not mary poppins returns I don't know. Who knows? We'll Who knows? Out. Leave a comment. Uh, oddly enough, I'm going to just say this. We are going to watch them probably in the next week or so. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> anyway, but uh, delicious food, amazing service, Citricos. Yeah. Did we give it Cicely Ebert's two thumbs up? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Um, amazing. Just uh, I better than I thought. Yeah. Better it's than I thought experience. it was going to be. Yeah. Great experience. Got to share it with the most amazing person in the world. <laughs> Me. 
No, no. I said share it, so it's her. It's her. <laughs> um, but no, delicious. Uh, if you have a time to come here, I highly recommend it. Yeah, definitely. And it's a beautiful night. So with that, we're going to go take a little walk and head home. Right. Bye. Bye.